Well, it all starts with the National Geographic D documentary that I was watching on Netflix about the Appalachian Trail. So, watching the documentary, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. You know, they start down in Georgia, and then they just show the trail going forward, you know, that goes to this state, then this section, and then it ends in Maine. And then they kind of briefly mention that people will hike the whole thing in one season. I go, okay. You know, I'm, then I'm TDY when November 2012, and I'm um, at lunch with a tech sergeant at my TDY location, and he's like, you know, and I was talking, my ETS is coming up, and he's like, well, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, you know, I've got nine years in. I might as well just stick with it. And he's like, well, what would you do if you weren't in the military anymore? And I was like, well, I'd probably go hike the Appalachian Trail. I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, well, then you need to go do that. And I was like, that's absurd. I, I just, I can't, I got bills. I, you know, I got it. I was also a temp tech here. So, you know, it was my full-time job. It was my part-time job. I, I can't just up and leave everything. And I think the whole reason the Appalachian Trail was on my mind, I had a hike on over the weekend. And uh, this two guys are out also staying in the, the same shelter that night. And I was like, yeah, I think I would be interested in doing that someday. And he's like, well, if you want to do it, you just have to do it. And I was like, you know, so that was like the second time that somebody told me I just need to do this. And I'm like, really? I, it's not that simple, you know? Again, just giving all the excuses for why I can't do this, you know? I'm gonna lose my job, all that. So that's, I went into, uh, I told my supervisor, you know, that, that next work day, and I was like, yep, I'm gonna ETS out. And so then they, they told the commander, they were like, you gotta talk to him, he's, he's lost his mind, I don't know. You know, so they're like, you gotta talk to him. Uh, I wasn't gonna go and ask for a leave of absence. I thought that it might be like, put him, a, the commander, in a tough position, and I just thought it'd be better you know, if I, if I just left and I did what I wanted to do and then, you know, figure it out f from there. So, but, and he called me into the office and he said, you know, well, what if I can give you a leave of absence for that whole time? But you have to, you know, make up, do all your training in advance, do all your rutas, get all your medical stuff squared away. Um, you know, all the CBTs that might come due. I had to do a new PT test. I pretty much, I, I busted my butt for, you know, the next couple weeks before I left in March to make sure that everything was squared away and he wasn't going to, you know, have any issues while I was gone. It worked out, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that he gave me a leave of absence, of course, you know, because really in the long run I, I wouldn't be sitting here today if uh, that didn't happen. But, um, you know, everything was done in advance so that I could, uh, I'd be allowed to go. So that's, so I, I, I left to go hike in March.